So. Well, one of the mysteries about the history of the Soviet Union is Stalin's second wife, Nadja, suicide. It, it's, a, it's not completely known, or at least it's obfuscated, what actually happened when she shot herself. She kept a, a mauser under her pillow, evidently for years. She was a, herself, a member of an aristocratic communist family. And she was, as I said, Stalin's second wife. Apparently, he didn't pay too much attention to her. He liked to hang out with the guys. And he was very devoted to fulfilling Lenin's uh, expectations for the party. He was a party man. And she, as an ex-communist, had conflicting feelings about both the party and him. And it grew to such a point, psychologically, that she did take her own life. Now, what happened was that there was a shot. Apparently, Stalin was having dinner with his cronies in another room, and um, they ran to her bedroom and found her. That's one story. Another is that nobody was in the house and, and she was just discovered dead days or who knows how much later. It's never been completely clarified. But in my play, their relationship is very important and it's, it's balanced by another relationship, which was the relationship of Mayakovsky and his longtime lover named Lily Brick. And they are, they are tied together by a chorus. And it's left somewhat mysterious how Nadja died, although it becomes quite clear that um, she had very few ways out. She was kind of trapped in her bedroom, which was all mirrors and lace, and uh, had little to do with the raising of her children or her relationship with Stalin. But the, the interesting thing in the play is how these two stories correspond and in, a, in, a, in an interesting way.